What happens inside a nuclear reactor is very similar but subtly different to a normal power station. Here we have what most people see when they think of power stations, but there are lots of different types of power stations. In a nuclear power station, the source of energy is nuclear fission. There are two different fissionable isotopes that we use. That is uranium-235 and plutonium-239. Now what happens is a neutron is fired at the nucleus of either the uranium or the plutonium, splitting the uranium or the plutonium, and then more neutrons come out, which can then go on and hit other um, nuclei. And this is called a chain reaction. Now, this reaction happens in the fuel rods, which are placed every so often in the reactor. And as this um, fission happens, you are going to get energy coming out as well. Here we have our power station. You can see that these here are the fuel rods. And the whole of this system is encased in water. And water kind of acts as the control. It stops things happening too fast. The water slows down the fission a little bit. The other thing that can be used to slow down the reaction are these control rods here. And they can be lowered down so that they're in between the fuel rods. And they can control how much fission takes place at any given time. And the point of all of this, uh, the point of this vision taking place is so that we can release um, heat, we can release energy. And what happens is we take cold water and it turns into steam and then that goes off to the turbine. So all of this takes place so that we can turn water into steam and steam is what we use to generate electricity. Around the outside of all of this is going to be a thick, thick concrete block. Now the concrete block is there to help control things so that if something goes wrong, we are going to be safe. So thick concrete is all around the outside that you know just in case something does go wrong it's going to be contained a little bit now this is a particular of a traditional power station it works in a very very similar way we have our hot water being heated here which then goes through a turbine the steam spins the turbine and the spinning turbine goes into generator, generates electricity, which can then go off to the grid. So this is a traditional power station, but it works in a very, very similar way from this point onwards to a nuclear power station. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.